Hello, everybody. I figure I'd get out here again and do another update on the COVID-19 uh, numbers and everything and what's going on, what the governors are saying. Um, the stimulus updates. Uh, Today is November 12, 2020. Uh, COVID, rate, COVID rates are skyrocketing. And the governors are doing everything in their power to, to, to quick, not to close everything. But they said that the numbers keep on going up in the next week or two. They're going to start shutting things down again. So... And that's what people are thinking. That's why they're going to these stores and stockpiling. You go to these stores now, look on the shelves. Toilet paper, paper towels, Lysol wipes. All that stuff is like pretty much gone. You know, people are panicking. They, they're going to shut things down again because people think the virus is a joke and all this. And, you know, all the people out there, there's a lot of people out there thinking the virus is a joke. They'll think it's a joke when they get it. When they're in a hospital and can't breathe. Feels like they got about five tennis balls in their lungs and they get a high temperature and sweating. Feel like they're going to die. They'll think it's a joke then. That's all I got to say. You know what I mean? It's not a joke. Death is not a joke. I can't understand the way these people are. You can tell it's a sign of times. These people are so hard-headed. It's unbelievable. As far as stimulus, you know, I heard rumors, nothing till next year. You know what I mean? People can't wait three months, two months, or whatever. They can't wait. Unemployment is going to be a complete disaster here in a couple weeks, especially if they shut things down. It's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, so I figure I'll get on here and do a little update on here and tell you what's going on out there. So it's getting pretty rough. The governors don't want to shut things down, but within the next week or two, the numbers keep on going up. They're going to start closing things down here in a week or two. Then, with no stimulus, these businesses are already hurting. Schools are hurting. People are hurting. No unemployment. When they shut things down again, people will be out of jobs. And they're still diddled down and back and forth about the stimulus. You know? They said Mitch McConnell's worried about the, the, the Trump winning the election than anything else. So, it's a big joke. You know what I mean? It's back and forth crap. They put on there today that all the White House said all stimulus talks are off. So, there you go. They want to go cheap. They're not taking the, vi the this coronavirus coronavirus thing seriously. They think it's a, you know what I mean? They don't want to take it serious. I guess they want to hurt the economy. A double dip recession. It's a bunch of garbage, man. Unbelievable, you know? It'll affect them rich people too out there. When their business shuts down or whatever, they ain't got no money coming in, it's going to hurt them. You know, I don't care how much money you got. That money goes, that money will go. When you, got, when you ain't got no business, when you ain't got no customers and you're paying out, no money coming in, that money be going gone. That money will go quickly. Well, ain't nobody buying no cars. You know what I mean? Pay, can't pay rent, can't get food, and they're treating it like a damn joke. They don't care about nobody. They're worried about that damn election, man. It's over with. That election is over. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Next, within the next two weeks, it's going to be rough. You know, without any stimulus package, it's going to get. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be bad. No wonder the crime rate here is so high. Every day, I got this Citizens app. It's blowing up like crazy. People getting robbed, stealing the car, stealing their purse, stealing their credit card numbers, stealing their checkbook. Rob, rob, rob. Robbery. Banks are being robbed. Stores are being robbed. People are being robbed. Cars getting stolen. People are desperate. Yeah. If they don't do anything, the crime rate will even go higher. You know what I mean? People are afraid to go out of their house. They do get shot and robbed, steal their car, steal their purse, steal their wallet. But yeah, I figured I'd get out here and do a quick update on here. So you guys have a good day. It's like I said, it's getting kind of nippy out here now. It's getting colder out. It'll be getting dark here in about an hour or two. It's getting dark, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. It's dark. The clocks went back an hour. But please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll try, I'll just try to be honest with you about this stimulus and coronavirus, you know what I mean? You know, it's been back and forth on how long they've been doing this. You know what I mean? Nothing's getting done. Now they're saying not until March or, or February. It's a nothing but a joke. God. And it's going to get bad when they shut everything down. Unbelievable. Can't believe that. You know what I mean? People are large gatherings, no masks. They think, you know, if you got a mask on, they laugh at you. You go in the store, only about 80% of the people are wearing masks. You know what I mean? One lady was at the store. She was sneezing and coughing all over the all over the the worker. And you know, she's like, "You ain't got a mask on." She's like, "Nope, I don't need a mask. I'm not sick." That's what she said. Don't need a mask. I'm not sick. People think they need a mask on when they're sick. When they're sick, they shouldn't be out. 
<laughs> they should be at home. That's what I'm saying. They're not taking this seriously. They think it's a joke. They'll think it's a joke when they're in a hospital. They'll think it's a joke. That's all I got to say. Laugh about it and all that. And, you know, I mean, President Trump, you know, I mean, he did the best he could, but he got to the point where he thought the whole thing would just disappear on its own. It tells you right now it's not disappearing. It's actually getting worse. It'll be a dark winter, if you know what I mean. So, please, please comment below. What do you think about the stimulus and this coronavirus? Think, and what do you think about them shutting it down? If it gets real bad in a week or two, they're going to start shutting everything down again. That's all over the states. So they're thinking about doing that because the numbers keep on going up. You know what I mean? Now, I'm in Ohio, in Kentucky. So it's the numbers are going record levels every every day. Higher one day, next day it's even higher. The next day, even higher. In the thousands. The whole state's in the red. They're trying to do the best they can. The government is not to shut the government is not to shut it down, but they said they're going to have to. If it keeps on getting bad, they're going to shut it down. Everything will be shut down within a week or two. So you guys have a lovely day. Please let me know. Please like and subscribe, okay? I appreciate it very much. Thank you.